there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, gotta groom myself. You know how the dogs and cats do this? I do it to every once in a while. Fuck it. Let's go in. Like I said, by the intro, you know who it is. Mr. Warmack, AKA Swagger.30, reloaded. It is in the building, so don't ever forget that. And today, I'm about to do another video busting these professional victims' asses again about how all they want to do is cry and they don't do shit to help anybody. And let me tell you something, when they start this on you guys, you need to ask them, what are they doing to make a difference besides crying? 90% of them aren't, no, 95% of them, and I can say this because they, they cry out to me all the time, 95% of them aren't doing shit but talking. So, anytime a professional victim comes to you, with a with all when they hear when they come at you, they usually come with like disparaging remarks. They come with disparaging remarks. They come with accusations. You get the old set out Tom Coon. You get that type of language. But what you what I do to shut them down? I ask them, "What are you doing? Show me a video of you doing anything outside of fucking comment on a fucking YouTube video." A lot of you guys are just this, and that's why nobody respects fucking you know. Overall, us overall as a people because a lot of you fucking want to do this and there's no action behind your fucking words. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm gonna bust your asses again with this video. And like I said, all, I, all the question that we're the ultimate question whenever you fucking fuckheads come over to my video, what are you doing? Don't talk about it. When I go to your video and I see you got fucking music videos and people dancing kumbaya, you're cooning. You're cooning. You just, you just. Do you? So, let me go in. This video for you professional victims that pay attention to it, because it's affecting you now, now that you're not doing anything. The, the Supreme Court upheld the, well the majority of justices, basically the Supreme Court upheld that states can ban affirmative action, some affirmative action policies. Even uh, even Clarence Thomas voted for this, even, you know, and I know he probably was helped by affirmative action policies. But the seven states, there's seven states, you know, Arizona, California, Florida, Nebraska, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, and Washington. You know, I think that was who tried to ban certain parts, and that's why I went to the Supreme Court. I'm not sure about the whole details. I just know the Supreme Court bans certain policies, so do some research on that. Now, in a perfect world, I admit we shouldn't have to have affirmative action. In a perfect world, you should be based on the merits of how, what you can do and what you can't do. But, and we live in a real world where race, money, class, gender, sexual orientation, and other factors play in sometimes if you get a job or not. So, that's why I have affirmative action. Personally to me, it was just a affirmative action was just... A lot, of these, a lot of these Negro leaders took a deal because they said they did something. Other than that, they got okie doke. But that's another video for another time. But uh, when it comes to getting rewarded for past work, it shouldn't be an issue. So, yes, we have discrimination in the workplace based on those various factors that I've said. It shouldn't be, but there is. And that's why you need it. To a point. You know, you shouldn't... I shouldn't just be given a job, given a job because I'm black. A homosexual shouldn't be just given a job because they're gay. Uh, a, a white disabled guy shouldn't be just given a job because he's disabled. I mean, you should have a little bit of experience in what you're going for, just to get it. Now, and I'm, and I'm, and here's my point: when the Supreme Court does stuff like this and the Civil Rights Voting Act and stuff like that. Then I go on these other professional victims videos. And I looked at they're not even talking about none of this stuff. They're talking about they're talking about let me let me talk, talk about the wishy washy shit they're talking about. They're talking about hey blame the white man for everything in the world even though they're not getting off their ass and doing anything. 
B, they're blaming the government. You don't know they're getting food stamps and social security checks and crazy checks and the like. And C, they don't even, they, they say, you don't talk about stuff like what other black folks are really talking about. They are so disconnected that it, it's a shameful. And when I do videos like this, you should do your own research. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not just telling you this shit because it just fucking flew in my head that I'm talking about. I'm talking about it because it's really happening. So, I like professional victims. You want to prove me wrong? Show me what you're doing. Because, like, 95% of you ain't doing shit but running your fucking mouth. And if you want to go that route, I'll beat your asses all day running in my mouth. I'm a nice shit talker. Don't get it twisted. So... For the other people that are really doing something and trying to help the real community, you need to step up and, you know, these these policies are affecting you. And, and like, come voting time, watch. It's just going to hit the fan. So, I'm out. Stay alert and stay noticed. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.